Okay, um, to get to that self timer, you're going to want to push your menu button and then you're going to want to scroll down to where it says self timer and now you're going to want to push your menu to take you out to set and you're going to push the center button here and I'd say for most things four to five seconds for a time this is set for one shot um, which is fine and then you're going to push set and that's going to create a, a custom self timer for you you're going to push this to go back out of your menus and now what you're going to do is here on the bottom right here you're going to see that your self timer is going to come up if you push this button it's going to say continuous it's going to have some options and it's going to come up with your custom timer here right there now when you push your shutter it's going to take that four seconds for it to fire and at that point when you after you push the shutter one of the things you can try to do is if you can do this is get to see the back of the camera and position one hand in a way that is, um, is you have your work so it's visible in the way that you want it to be and then you want to push your shutter button and get your other hand in there to do something and as you can see I just made the classic mistake of photographing the back of my hand so that's one thing you want to avoid so you want to, you may have to do a little work here to figure out what's the best way to position your hands and then uh, get things repositioned so let's go back and try another one here and see if we can figure this out and we're going to reposition this hand and we're going to hit our shutter button and then maybe we're going to come over to the side like this and we have a little bit better photograph there to work with I think so that's the self timer and it can get kind of difficult usually if you're working on a small project you should be able to see the back of your camera and be able to position one hand now one thing you can do and you can try to do is if you position a mirror behind your camera you might be able to see what's going on here but you're still going to have to hit the shutter button at some point so it can be difficult to work by yourself and photograph your work so if you can find somebody to help you out I would suggest that you work that way if not the self timer is a good alternative